And this is just a really general overview of what this disease is. Um, so it's a disease in which the immune system attacks the uh, brain, the spinal cord, and or optic nerves. Um, the immune system attack can cause breakdown um, in the myelin, so that's that yellow portion. Um, and typically, uh, what will happen is the body will either go through um, regeneration of some of this myelin, and whatever parts are not regenerated, the body will lay down scar tissue in lieu of where the myelin is. And so that affects the signal from the brain and the spinal cord to various outputs in the body. So the muscles, the sensory organs, um, the eyes, the vestibular system, and it can basically cause the signal to be disrupted, to be impaired, to maybe go halfway through or maybe to not even have a signal at all. Um, some of the things that might cause um, an attack on, the, uh, attack on the body might be an infection, um, different uh, complications from um, pain can be a trigger, stress can be a trigger. Um, so there's a lot of different types of triggers. Some triggers, once they're released, you, you know, patients and individuals will find some relief and others are managed um, typically with medication. There are different types of multiple sclerosis out there. So there's four common types, um, relapsing, remitting, secondary progressive, primary progressive, and progressive relapsing. So you're gonna get individuals that kind of um, fit into many of those categories of MS, um, just as a general topic. So symptoms of MS, um, typically it's an autoimmune disease and it uh, affects females more than males and there's some type of familial or genetic component there. Um, some of the symptoms that we'll see with MS, um, I'll just kind of go from one part of the screen. Um, individuals might have difficulty with um, vision, which does come up quite a bit. Optic neuritis is um, a definite common complaint initially at the onset of a diagnosis. So individuals might have double vision or blurred vision. Um, they might also have issues with dysarthria, so difficulty speaking, dysphagia, which means difficulty swallowing. Um, nystagmus there is written there, and that usually indicates some type of um, impaired eye movement along with some dizziness. Um, also, individuals will have some type of weakness. So that's definitely a common complaint of why people come in to see us if they have a diagnosis of MS. Um, difficulty walking is a big complaint, um, be it weakness in the entire leg or maybe just weakness in the foot. Um, muscle spasticity, which is abnormal tightness in the muscle, that can also be a, a definite um, complaint, um, and that can happen in the leg and the arm and throughout the trunk. Uh, ataxia, which is decreased coordination of the limbs in space. Um, and then bladder and bowel issues can also be um, a symptom. So you can get a wide gamut of things. Some individuals will have a few or one, and some will have multiple systems um, affected, depending on how far they are out with their MS. Oh.